So John's friend Jane's just turned out, he's just gone to greet her. I've just been picking some pears and scoffing them down. So we'll have a chat with her. We're gonna move that crate in a minute, the swarm box or whatever, and we'll hopefully not get stung. She looks like she's wearing a bee suit, which is very sensible. Perhaps John's got to get one as well. Let's have a look. Mm. So Jane, you're here today. Are, are you here as advisor or mentor? How would you describe yourself? Uh, Health and safety. Health and safety. We don't do that here. I'm just to lend a helping hand. Really? Yeah. And have you got a lot of beekeeping experience? Uh, I've been beekeeping. My dad taught me. Mm. So my dad was a beekeeper, and um, and so I've been keeping bees since. Well, when he was alive, he sort of started teaching me and um, so that must have been at least what eight or so years ago really so um, how many hives have you got so then? at the moment between myself and a friend we've got 12 hives wow 12 so, hives wow yes. so that's been our focus that's... this year has been upping the numbers rather than quite good for lockdown then for you was it because you oh, could actually fantastic. do that and yeah, have the time it. to do brilliant. it and you know the pressures of you know that's a bit like farming you can carry on with that sort of thing yeah. can't you and this I imagine beekeeping, you've got to be quite tranquil with it, haven't you? Patient, yeah, would completely. that be true? Yeah, completely. I, I, it, it's kind of almost meditative. Mm. You, know, you, you open the hive and that's it. You're and you're in your own world. In the moment. Right. Doing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. And do, do you think the bees respond to different people in how they react to them? I mean, if you yeah, go. Yeah, I think you they know? do. Um, find out. I mean, mm. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, oh, you know, you have a sort of special thing or anything. Mm. But I think generally people who are taken by beekeeping yeah there are people who are a bit calmer yeah or you know like that i mean if you're going to be sort of going oh, and yeah them away, yeah yeah, yeah totally it's wrong not going to suit mm. you, you know so um right so. well i'll watch you i won't okay. get too close because you've got a suit you've got a suit as well this is all new to me uh, so my my old school teacher used to have bees here 40 years ago and he used to have a massive sort of suit that was like a oh, spaceman peter grudgins peter, he was yeah. my headmaster at tiverington school he was um he was one of my dad's really good friends. Oh, really? Actually. Yes. Gosh, well, he had, I was yeah. telling John earlier, he had, used to have two beehives here in, up in the farmyard. When we used to have a little pigsty there, he kept yeah. them there uh, and he used to come down. But he used to come down in this massive, are, are they a bit more modern now and a bit more lightweight or are they very similar to what they were 30, 40 I years ago? No, you? they were a lot heavier. Mm. They were sort of that's what I thought, more canvas, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yours is much more. John's got a modern one. I thought that, that's like a puffer jacket. You could go down the pub in that. It's like, there's some teenage kids who probably think, I'll wear one of those and it's cool. Hey? It's all right, that mesh look. Bling. Yeah. <laughs> Beekeeper bling. So um, me and Harry, we'll probably stay away. I'm going in the tractor cab. You're going to go in the tractor cab? All right, <laughs> Harry's going to sit in the tractor cab. You can, sh can you shut the window on your own? Back yeah. window? Okay, you do that. I will, I'll come, but I'll probably do. I'm just, what I am going to do is just tie my hair up. Right, how, how excited will they get? Right, I'll come and then I'll back off and use the zoom when you get. Okay. Harry, you be careful. It's exciting, isn't it? That's fantastic. It is, it is blooming brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it is, absolutely. I have to confess, when John said about it, I thought this would never work, just putting a box randomly in a field. Tell the truth, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd go have a go at this. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a piece of tape to put over the top, but there's no stickiness on yeah. the back, so the bees don't stick to it. Right. Right. Seal them in. And then I'll, if you get that side, look at this. Just lift, lift it up, take it out. Down, and just over there, call the shovel. No. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to see that. You know, the thing is about. I, I didn't think to say this to you, but you know, the thing is that you're supposed to move them either three, th three meters or three miles. Oh. So. Well, we're not doing three miles. No, we're not. Three meters is not very far. So I think. I think I we might be, need to do, What we might need to do is put them in, shut them in, and then I'll have to do a quick Google to find out how long to leave them shut in for, because otherwise the scouts will come out and then they'll come back to here. Right. Their, their sort of directional mm. um, location is really good. Um, so perhaps if we can sort of leave them shut in and then you come back in a day or two to feed them, feed them, yeah. Put some feed feed them, them, but maybe leave them closed in. Okay. Mm. okay. How long do you think you leave them closed in for? I don't know. I think, I think, so, I think someone will last, I think someone I'd, last I'd, 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. But it's not too warm, they're not going to cook in there. No. Uh, no, actually, thank goodness. Yeah, so it's in the shed anyway, so it's a yeah. nice sort of spot. Surely there. a good spot here because we're in an orchard, there'll be plenty of blossom in the spring. Oh, There's a pond just there perfect. with water. Yeah. So Got all the hedges, this guy yeah. rolls rapeseed at the back, doesn't he? Yeah. And different crops like the back over there. Yeah. So it's all I get, oh, really. Yeah, mm. Alright. Okay. Well, let's get, right. Let's get suited. Ooh, suited and booted. So what did you just follow into your dad's footsteps then? Did you sort of like and yeah. I mean it's like anything, isn't it? If your father does it, you kind of pick it up and you yeah, watch it without absolutely. and it's easier, isn't it? Cuz every time he does something, you're there watch it. It's a bit like Harry, yeah. you know. I mean, I, you know, it wasn't until wasn't until we moved back from Bristol to here mm. that I kind of picked it up. Yeah, then, but, but you already had it in you because your dad had... I think so, You, yeah. you absorb stuff, don't you? Yeah. Without, without knowing, knowing you learn? Yeah, absolutely. Just even, I think, even the fact that, you know, not of not being petrified of yeah. bees buzzing all around you, you know. Um, That's like my kids with the cattle. They're totally yeah. used to them. They don't phase them, really. Whereas some people are just like, whoa! Yeah. And, you know, and they've just... Because they're just they're around them all the time. Yeah. I must admit, sometimes they get a bit too cocky, and I got to be a bit careful okay, okay. because yeah. you know they can I can, get... I can really sympathise with that. If I walk into a field of cows, mm. you know I am a bit wary. Yeah. <laughs> well, we shut two eighty. John's special friend. She took a shine to John last week. Um, it's the day, it? it's the she's day. she's a little heifer. She's really really friendly. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Should all right. The, we get the smoke already? This is Jack. Yes. Boy. This is my oldest son, Jack. Hi, Jack. Nice to meet you. I'm Hi. Jane. That's Harry over there, and this is Jack. So, Hi. Jack's been off and helped me earlier and he's come back oh, careful that tree it might snap look it's, it's on its last legs oh got goodness, yeah i was telling harry i climbed on that tree when i was 10 years old and now harry's doing it oh, she's quite nice light, isn't it sorry you got matches i have actually got oh, right yeah. so, how much are you done well we've done all the frame come, do you want to come and have a look they're gonna have you put the bees in yet? not yet he's gonna move them in a minute so you lighten this up it's interesting you're saying you use egg boxes. Yeah, I, do, I mean... Good little tip. It's... Um, I think my Mr. Grudney's used to put creos, um, paraffin and uh, rags. I think that's what you used to use, something like that. Uh, it's the 70s, maybe. you're allowed to then. Yeah, oh, you could do anything. <laughs> do anything in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> egg boxes are good because everyone can get hold of them easy as well. Exactly. And I, I find they're as good as yes. anything. I mean, people use all sorts of things mm. and everyone has their own sort of special thing that they love to yeah. use. Yeah. Um, some people use uh, old sacking. Right. Um, Anything that sort of slow burns, I pine suppose. Cones, pine yeah. cones, right. Um, yeah, pine cones you can buy, online. you know, if you mm. really fancy, you buy stuff on it. But I find these are good because they stay lit. It, does that go in the. Yeah, I think that goes on top, doesn't it? That go, I, would, it, I would suggest that goes on underneath okay. so that mm. the ash drops through. Uh, okay. So all this is doing the smoke, it just sort of makes them docile, yeah? yeah. Makes It makes them. I think the theory is that it that the smoke makes them think that there's a fire and in the wild. If right. there was a fire, what they'd need to do is fill their stomachs and then leave the nest. Okay. And so so that's what they'll do. They'll go sort of go down onto the comb. Right. And um and they're then busy. Yeah. Filling their stomachs and not buzzing around you. Harry's over there in the tractor, look, Jack. Have you seen that? Yeah, He's <laughs> shut himself in, a, hopefully, a bee-proof container. He's got the binoculars guy as well. He's watching us. I've, I've videoing all this, and probably what I'll do is I'll chop bits out. Yeah, do some editing, mate. Because otherwise we've got about three hours. <laughs> we did a nice video the other day, didn't we, of the... Um, just, you know, I, I filmed when you turned up two months ago. I filmed John, uh, John putting just bringing it on the farm and I just didn't do anything with that footage at all I just left it and then what I did I filmed last night and just chopped the two together so it's quite oh, a continuation lovely. yeah it's good it's a good record it shows your wife what you're actually doing in the evenings rather than just saying I'm going out as well doesn't it <laughs> hey where is she really he's at the pub no he's not he's beekeeping look at the smoke on that look at that cuffing billy that is isn't it sorry did you bring your feeder yep there. Is that see that, that jack all right just show me to use it that's it so in a minute, he's gonna, are you going to puff that into that little hole at the bottom? What do you do? I don't know. Do you want to show me in a minute? Do you, that, so that's smoke. Will you puff some of that into that box before you seal it or anything? Or? I would just seal it. Just yeah, seal just it. seal it. Yeah. So what's the idea of that, having that going like around you now then for today, if you're going to seal it? Is it just... just oh, well, just because 
I'm assuming that we're going to take the frames out and put yeah. them in the hive. So, so we, want, we kind of want that ready. Right. Oh, OK. Oh, I haven't seen the hive yet. Yeah, go and have a look at the hive. I'm going to have to go and get another battery in a minute before this goes flat. Okay. Ooh, tense moment, John. It's like carrying your first baby to the scales. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drop that, it could be a horrible mess. I'm the one without a bee suit. <laughs> Revenge. Yeah. Always liked you, John. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's just put that there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like I said, John, we'll put a little gate on here at some point to make it easier to get in, but we just whacked it up tonight yeah. just to get. Got to keep the cows out, they'll knock that over otherwise. Right, just be careful. Right, look at this. Should we get that open? Ooh. Ready? Yeah. Right, get ready. There might be some. <laughs> wow. Okay, if I, I might run away in a minute. <laughs> see what happens. Alright. <laughs> oh, I've got seven frames in there, so where should I put the other three? So I just at the, Back. At the edges. Oop. I'm going to try to the cabs. Alright. And when we transfer the frames, what we do is we make sure that we transfer them in the same order because yeah. the brood nest will, sort of goes across okay. the frames. Oh, so you're taking them all out of there, are you? Oh, blimey, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's hope there's not six bees in there, John. <laughs> Open it and go, oh. Uh, Probably six. You just pass me that hive tool, could you? Which is... Well, either of those. Okay. What's that for? Well, oh, to pull out the frames, is it? One of those things that if you have some, yeah. oh, here we go. Hello, lovely. Oh, my goodness! That is a wow, that is right. If I run away, I'm oh my Lord. so have they built that comb out? Was that foundation when you put that? Some of it was. Some I alternated between foundation and just a, a blank hole. I'm filming as long as I can until the bees the bees are out now, Jack. So be very oh, careful. Well, we can see comb. Do you want to pass the camera on Casey, Rich? Do you want to come up? Pass hey. the camera over. Yeah, you can you film with that? With your button? I'm not going to get any close now. Just the top, press that button, yeah? It, it, it's already recording, thank okay. you. Shall I lift up a... Yeah, go on, lift one out. Let's have a look at it. Right, let's just loosen that bit. Oh, that is busy hive, isn't it? That's fantastic. Right. I'm chuffed a bit with this. So this one will be probably the least busy. Ooh, look at that. Curtain. But look at that, so they've already wow. started. Have they built that? Yeah. yeah. They built that? So that was yeah. empty when it went in there, was it? It well, was, yeah, just a bit at the top. Blimey. Those like lollipop sticks coated in uh, beeswax. That's absolutely fantastic. So you can see... I don't know what you can see from that side, but can you see the dark bits? Yeah, right, sure. Mm -hmm. Keep filming a minute. Is that the stuff that's got on your side? So the dark, the dark bits are pollen. The pollen is kind of like the carbohydrates for the bees, the, um, sorry, the protein for the bees. So that's like their, their sure meat, you can't really. Get running, running with that what the hell is that thing? Well, I'll just turn, it, just, just turn it around and see what we can see on this side. Oh, you've got a mop on your ship when you're about to Can you hold that for a bit? Wow, that is a lot of bees, actually. I don't that's think there'll be that fantastic. many in there. Look fantastic. at that. That's a big swarm. And if you, can you see the shiny bits? That is the honey. Wow. <laughs> what result? That's Your children are doing really well, John. I'm sure I'm out. I'm sure I'm very proud parent. Look at that. So how are they going to? How are you wow. going to get them off to get the honey? Well, that's, that's not today. Not That'll be a little year. way down the line. Probably next year, I suspect. That is amazing. That's fantastic. Right, so should we transfer that one? Yeah. I think yeah. It's just amazing. So all these frames were empty when they went in there, were they, John? Yeah. So we don't know what's going to be on any of them. No. Well, right, kids. The foundation mm -hmm. on like this. Could be a while. Right. But are you going to give them a fresh one if there's nothing on the others? Whoa, that's a full one. Dad, look at that. Yeah. Ah, so. Queen. So. Oh my goodness. What's that? That's little baby cap. Bees inside baby there. bees that's inside. Oh, those little caps are where they bruise yeah. are. Oh, you can see like, the wow. Yeah. So is that where they're? Oh my goodness me. Birth? Yeah. yeah, so the queen's laid a little egg under there and those baby bees 
Right. Little grubs. Be that's careful, Jack. There's bees good. flying around. Yeah, I'm wow, that's yeah, amazing. Put my head up. Yeah, put your hood up. I would. All right, Harry. Uh, they're starting to fly a bit, boys, so you might have to step back a bit. Pretty do you, do you want my I know, but I don't want to... Go to the hospital to Yeah. This is amazing, isn't it? I think you've got a more <laughs> good bit of the field as well. Yeah, this is a good little spot here, isn't it? Well, if it gets more and more honey near to the middle. Are they sort of sucked... almost full, Dad. Yeah. Sweating much, almost. Wow, it's heavy as well. This. Wow, wow, so look, wow. Look at all that proof there. Oh, That's my amazing. goodness! Turn it around, John. Whoa, look so at that! All of that's brewed, and then this light a bit up here that's that sealed honey. Up wow, there. so you got honey and baby bees. Wow, they must have been in there a while. Do you think? It must have been for two weeks, I reckon, because that's yeah. not overnight, is it? I they, checked it before I went on holiday. They've mm. worked at that, haven't they? Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? I'm putting my head up now, it's time to come. How long do you think until Definitely we get honey it. out of them? Well, not this week. Probably next year. Next year. So, the There'll be a queue for that, won't there, Jack? There will. <laughs> why next year? That's going to be a sacred moment when we open the first why, jar of honey. Why next year? Because there's honey oh, now. Because, oh, but you can't take it off them because they'll start feeding on it for the winter, you see. They need, they need food for the winter because in the winter they can't get any, any pollen or nectar. Sorry, nectar. So you're going to take it next spring? So next spring. When you know all the blossoms on the trees here, that's when you'll probably get it. Yeah. Because they'll... Um, this, this is a good bit for the cows though, because this is in the shade. I know, but there's plenty of places in the shade for the that's, cows here. That's why, they can't, why we can't take their honey, is because they... They eat it as, for winter. As the winter comes, yeah, yeah. they just sort of nestle down. Because no kind of there's no blossom. Well. So blossom this is after two Sorry? weeks. Imagine no what it would be like after exactly. two months. There's no nectar. I know. Blimey. Look at that. Jeez, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Lords of brood on this one. Yeah. All right, start. John, let's just turn that around for me a minute. Hang on. I'll just get my camera on that. I'll get some good pictures for you for your Facebook or whatever. Nice one, John. The fear what factor, it's called. The fear <laughs> factor. Yeah, don't drop that in your car. I won't drop anyone, man. I'm too scared. Wow, look at that. You're the one that's got high... You, you're the one that's got protectors on. I haven't got anything. I've got a flipping Funky Farmer T-shirt on. How much bee protection does that give? It's not messing around too much, I think. Gives loads of control the Funky Farmer crack on. <laughs> yeah. If you do the, um, the farm tours, yeah. would you bring them in here to check out bees? I don't know. Like, There's lots of things to see here, here isn't there? Bees. Funky farmer bees. There are from, there are from we all get farm. a funky farmer sticker for that Dad, beehive. Dad. Available on Dad. my Teespring Dad, site. Do, funky um, farmer stickers. You should sell honey. Well, I don't mean there'd be enough to sell. It's John's honey anyway. Oh. Why are they so calm? Which tells you that, I mean, if you didn't know the Queen was present already, yeah. which you do because of the fruit. Yeah. Is the Queen on that one then, do you think? Not sure, mate. It's really Can you spot the Queen? Not yet. I think we'll just get them in there. You'll just see the fact that she's yeah, bigger than the rest, I, I suppose, might, will you? I think that might be the most... Did we turn that one round the other way, I think? Sorry? Like, we'll take it. Um, Ideally, we're going to put them in the way that. Okay, that's fine. Because the brood nest, sort of, if you imagine a ball that goes yeah. across the cones, they like it. To How many feet there are? There's honey at the bottom there. There we are. That's where we've chopped through that. Oh, you've got to taste a bit of that for the end of the day. <laughs> Once that pops is in. Mouthful of New House Farm funny. Honey. We try some. Oh, I don't know about that. It's not a honey. Do we need to do any chopping? No, no, that's fine. fine. That's good. Whoa, that's a full one. Whoa. It's got honey coming off it. Dripping with honey. Honey, honey. That is a full one as well. What a result. Oh, Look at them squirming around. Look at that. How have they made that much in two weeks? Well, no they've been busy, haven't they? They've been super busy, haven't they? It's a location, you see. So if you don't get the queen, even if you sealed all those in there, would they disappear once you opened it up? Because there's... If something happened, like you accidentally squished the queen, yeah. which you know does happen, yeah. so because they've got brood there, right. they incredibly will be able to raise a new queen really? from one of the eggs. So they would feed one of the wow. eggs. Royal jelly, um, royal jelly. Right. And Change the sex of it. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? We just started on this one. They are absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm buzzing now. 
So that one's not being really touched then, is it? Oh, yeah, I'm amazed actually the apple's rather caught it. It seems it's so it started cute. working on it. Have you just started? Yeah. Mm, they're yeah, sort of building yeah. out. So they draw it out and add wax to wax. Yeah. Crikey. Brilliant. Well, that's a real result, isn't it? First one. It looks lovely, isn't it? You made a really good job of that hide. Yeah. Hive. That's Very good. First attempt, John. Yeah. Get us luck, mate. <laughs> Fair play. Right. So, what do we do with these teddies? I'm going to step back a little bit because they're starting to float around the bees. Are you excited about that? One Harry? thing, yes. who goes to first grab honey? You die Probably him. Try, yes. Okay. Do we get well, the second I don't know whether there'll be anything. We'll, share well, I don't think there'll be much there anyway, but he's, he might have to leave That'd for the bees to eat. That'd be next year though. Next year you'll definitely try a little bit of honey. It's so long to wait for just one. Well, that's patience, isn't it? Like a lot of things, you know. They're still here next year. They'll still be here. We'll get here? another swarm. Well, let's start with one at first. That'd be fun. Yeah, it's starting to get agitated, get that. Yeah. Dad? The queen might be in that pot. Oh, that's what you put in, is it? I'm starting to set that. It's starting yeah, it's starting to fly around. Right. Oh, that's, that's a fair thing. We don't lose that. Right, I'm just going to leave them to uh, put the hive back together and we'll have a little catch up when it's finished. Are you off inside, Harry? Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Are you staying out a bit longer? Mm -hmm. All right, and you'll be keeping shorts. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so I think we'll, uh, yes, Jack, uh, Jack, come back. Let's just get away a bit. We could get up with a stinger. Stinger on the bum. Look at him shaking. Why don't you just grab him with his hand? Yeah, because you squash him, wouldn't you? So you're, what you're doing now, you're putting some feed in for yeah. them. So you're sealing them in. And this feed will, is this just for while they're being sealed, shut in or is this something you keep feeding? No, we'll feed, so I would just share it between both trays. Um, so the reason so they shut inside? Is because the nectar flow has kind of dwindled, yeah. you know, because we're coming on to water. Yeah. There, it's likely they won't be able to collect enough nectar to then last them through the winter. Right. So we're just helping them out here. How does that work with those trays then? So, Does that drip through or something? So no, there's a there's a, a gap in the middle there. They yeah. come up. In fact, look, if I show you. Oh, they come up. Oh, okay. They come up the middle. Yeah. Down this side here, which has got balls on it, yeah. makes it easier for them to cling on. To them. Okay. And then we'll then, so we're not we're not not doing a kind of immediate. We're not just feeding them to sustain them. Can we're, they come outside? We're feeding them? them so that they can store it for the winter. Sorry. Mm. Can they come outside? Um, at the moment, no. No, you said that he knew they stay there and get used to that. Did you make all that, John? Did you make the feeder as well? No, no, that's James. Oh, see, he borrowed uh, it. The one I've ordered, James, I threw around for. Yeah. yeah, that does exactly the yeah, same thing. Over, goes over the whole type thing. Yeah. But what are you going to do about the ones that are trapped outside? They'll have to wait until. They'll have to wait. The They'll entrance. come back later. Uh, the capping off now. The crowning glory. I thought beehives were much. A couple of bricks, stop being knocked over. I Look thought beehives were much bigger than that. They can be bigger. Inshallah, we didn't get stung once. Uh, we haven't finished yet, we haven't no, left no, a bit. We, we haven't yet. left. So we need to put something in front of the entrance. Got another brick. Um, Some bricks on the floor there. Yeah. Something thin that we need, so that stand up up for that. Brick will do, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's probably you get a brick on there. Sealed the entrance. John, so you happy with that? I didn't who's get stung. Who's that uh, went? There was plenty of bee bees in there. I didn't get stung. Bit of honey. Uh, yeah. Surprise you met all your children. <laughs> <laughs> the next generation. We yeah. just got to name them all now. Yeah. 
<laughs> Brilliant. Fine. Well done, mate. Start with number one and we'll work our way through. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, cheers for that, Jay. Much appreciated. Oh, brilliant. No, I'm all, I'm all so that was a real result. It was really nice to see how that worked, you know, just from getting a swarm on the farm, which just literally came here with a bit of lemon, lemongrass oil, I think it was, and uh, came to the swarm box. John's transferred them to a box he's made himself. That's just a real good, like, country do skill. Think, do you think they'll sit on the, on the farm? Yeah. Or did they fly really far to get here? No, they'll go all over the place looking for honey. We'll have to ask them like, how they go. Did, but where did they come from? Did they oh, I don't know. They here? could have come from a long way away. No. So they could have came from like Bristol or something yeah, like that? Yeah, Thornbury or something, anywhere. Yeah. And they swarm until they find a nice place to go and then they stop. This is quite a nice place to go well, fruit. They can eat yeah, the and they've got that. the box there. You see, cause the John's... Exploring bo uh, blossoms in the woods. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's good? Uh-huh. This is like getting into... Imagine if we had it in beef orchards. Yeah. This is this is like um sugar rush. <laughs> where you get this is a bit like um something out of uh, country file or something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Homemade stuff. Yeah. Got milk. We could get milk. beef if we want. Yeah. Get chicken soon. Chickens. Dog. Can't eat the dog. <laughs> <laughs> we got our own orchard for apples. Honey. It's all good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Garden got carrots and stuff. Mm. We just. Can't make Coca Cola as, though, can as, I? I was thinking of something that I would oh. Right. Stay tuned for more bee escapades. <laughs> <laughs>